There is hope we can have America back again. Yes, it's true that Barack Obama is by far the worst American president in history. Yes, it's true that he's nearly ruined our nation. Yes, it's true that where he promised hope, he delivered hopelessness. And it's true that he promised to unite us, but he brought us division instead. But today I'm here to tell you that we have been delivered from the false hope and broken promises of Barack Obama once and for all. We just need to grab hold of true hope and take back America again. But we have to overcome the one campaign promise that Obama has delivered on. Unfortunately, he delivered change and very well. He kept that promise way too well. He's changed us from a glorious constitutional republic that was the envy of the world, the most prosperous nation in world history, blessed with moral underpinnings that were cherished even more richly than money, and changed us into the most indebted nation in world history, and a nation that Obama isn't merely happy to rule over, but one that he wants to destroy, not just our economy, but our very heart, our passion, and our love for one another. He preaches inequality, prejudice, injustice. He pits us against one another when we were doing just fine before he butted in and told us how we supposedly didn't like each other. Well, it's time to tell Mr. Obama that it's over. We no longer will fall for his shallow, deceptive, hollow words of false hope. We won't be tricked into hating or even disliking each other. No, we will go back to loving each other as Americans and loving the Creator who gave us this great nation, and going back to work and rebuild our nation that has all but been destroyed. Yes, we're down, but we're not out. We must call our senators, demanding that they impeach this imposter in chief. And if they won't impeach him, we need to pressure the news media, political leaders, and other influential people, our friends and our countrymen, to do everything we can in our power to expose this evil man and the evil agenda he is promoting and render him harmless during his limited lame duck period in office. We must at bare minimum overturn every unconstitutional executive order and executive action he has signed into false law. Mr. Obama, we have news for you. This is not an empire and you are not our emperor. You are certainly not a king, and it's not your property, these United States of America. To divide up is not your land. To invite millions of illegals to share, to enjoy squatters' rights, to keep from paying taxes, and to get free hospitalization, health care, etc. Historians rightfully will probably record someday, somehow, that you were not even a natural, legally eligible United States citizen totally ineligible to become president of the United States. No wonder you're working so hard to legalize illegals. You're probably illegal yourself. Your own grandmother swears that she was by your mother's knees in Kenya where she saw you born. With great pride she said this before somebody bothered letting her know that that was like blowing the whistle on your origins. But citizen or no citizen, how dare you do so much damage to our nation? You are a self-appointed emperor trying to force U.S. subjects into compliance with your politically correct agenda, which is a thinly veiled ruse for transforming us into a totalitarian state. As for my fellow Americans, white, black, male, female, rich or poor alike, by the grace of God Almighty, millions of us Americans have built this once great nation over the course of more than 232 years before you were christened king or president by the liberal, un-American, lame stream media. And when I say work, I mean work. That means jobs and working hard at our jobs with no able body, red-blooded Americans staying home, living off of handouts. No, we need our dignity back and we need our nation back. And we're not gonna get there by waiting in welfare lines. No, that's not the American dream, far from it. Millions of Americans need to pull together to take back our nation from those usurping socialist and divisive hands who hijacked us. For whether it is two days until Obama resigns in shame or two months for him to be impeached or even two full years until his term ends, make no mistake about it, there will be life after Obama and the United States of America will be standing after the worst element of our history has passed from office. 
Oh, there's hope for 2016, and we don't have to settle for a Chris Christie or a Mitt Romney or a John McCain. Imagine instead a constitutionally eligible president like President Huckabee, or President Palin, perhaps, or President Rand Paul, or President Ben Carson, or perhaps a principled political dark horse candidate that has not yet emerged. Who knows? Maybe even a President Farah or a President Franklin Graham. But regardless of who is the president chosen by Inauguration Day on January 20th, 2017, at the very latest, we will, we must have our country back again the constitutional republic known as the United States of America.